Though you fall, you are not utterly cast down. Psalm 37 verses 23-24 The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Proverbs 24 and verse 16 For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again. In life, we go through difficult situations where we may face challenges, we may face things that send us reeling down. It's like a downward spiral. Thing, something has happened that puts us in a much lower place than where we were. Whether it's a tragedy, a calamity, a difficult situation, uh, things that have happened. But I want us to understand that we can come back strong. We can come back stronger than where we were before. And one of the ways, one of the important things for us to uh, come out of that is to understand that though we fall, we are not utterly forsaken because the Lord upholds us with His hand. So look at what the scripture says. That It says that our steps are ordered by God. So God is ordering our steps. He's guiding our steps. So imagine you're walking with God. You're in step with God, in time with God. You're going just exactly the way God is telling you to go. Now, what if I make a mistake? What if I take a step that God didn't tell me to take? What if I take two steps that God didn't tell me to take? What if I take three or four or five or ten steps that God didn't take me, tell me to take, and suddenly I find myself on a detour. Suddenly I find myself on a path God didn't intend for me, and I'm off track. And uh, it, it then positions me in a very vulnerable place. And if I make a mistake and fall, what, what about that? Well, the Bible says, though he falls, that means though I stumble, though I fall, though I trip up, it's not the end of everything. The Bible says, we are not utterly cast down. That means I'm not so down that I can never come up. I'm not so fallen and I'm not so flat on my face that I, God cannot pick me up. It says, though he fall down, he is not utterly cast down. He's not in a state of hopelessness. This is not the end of the journey because it says here, the Lord upholds him with his hand. And you and I need to have that assurance, that confidence, that even if we fall, even if we falter, even if we make a mistake, even if we stumble into something that God didn't ordain for us, but we landed there, <clears throat> that even in that situation, it's not the end of the road. We are not utterly forsaken because God upholds us with His hand. God will lift us up. God will pull us out. So a righteous man may fall seven times. In other words, he may fall numerous times but he can rise again because his God is upholding him. I wonder if there's anyone listening and you're in that place where you think you've fallen, you've stumbled and fallen, you've become weaker than what you were before. I want you to know that you can come back strong if you will put your trust in the fact that God upholds you and God himself will lift you up. He will bring you out of this position. Remember, though you fall, you're not utterly forsaken, because God upholds you. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you bring encouragement into our hearts, that if there's anyone who may have fallen, stumbled, and faltered for any reason, God, we will still have this trust and confidence that you uphold us and you can bring us up, put us back on our feet. And we thank you. You will do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.